Governor Rick Snyder has ordered flags lowered to half staff to remember the life of former First Lady Barbara Bush. 7 Action News reporter Brianne Palmerini spoke with one woman in Metro Detroit who has fond memories of Mrs. Bush. Well, it was way back in 1945 when George H.W. Bush was stationed at this Air Force base here in Gross Eel when it was active, much before he became president. And Barbara Bush wrote about her time here in her memoir and the people that impacted her life. An excerpt from Barbara Bush's memoir reads, We moved to Dearborn and stayed with the dearest family, Joe and Grace Gargoni and their children. We stayed in touch all these years until Grace died in March 1993. She taught me some things my mother thought I should be able to pick up by reading, things like how to cook, clean, and wash clothes. Joe and Grace Gargoni were the landlords for the Bushes and lived in Trenton for many years at this home right here. Both have since passed away, but their neighbor, Susan Polarski, still remembers the Gargonis and their relationship with the Bushes. Mrs. Bush would come over for lunch or just to pass the time of day. Polarski was a child back then, and that was well before the Bushes' time in the White House. Years later, when George was on the campaign trail, at the invitation of the Gargonis, Polarski met Mrs. Bush at a luncheon. It was something she says she'll never forget. I got to meet her. I got pictures with her, which unfortunately I can't find. She was, to me, the quintessential Southern charming lady. She says the Gargonis stayed in touch, just as Barbara wrote about in her memoir, but it wasn't something they bragged about. They didn't trade on the friendship or anything like that. It was, you know, the old school. They're your friend and only certain people need to know. When the Gargonis both passed away and their home was sold, Polarski says she told the new owner about the home's distinction. I told her that Mrs. Bush had come to lunch there. She was amazed. Along with Polarski, many of you around the metro area have fond memories of Barbara Bush, and we put out a call on social media. We received several pictures. When she passed, I thought, man, I was lucky enough to meet her. That in and of itself was extremely special. So from humble beginnings stationed at this naval base, the Bushes went on to live in the White House, and Mrs. Bush remembers her time here fondly. In Grossi Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News. Incredible legacy. Mm. Brianne, thanks.